was funded by one of the brothers who founded Adidas. They initially started their own shoe business together in their hometown in Germany. However, after World War II, they both decided to split up due to sibling rivalry and launch their own businesses in the same industry. The brothers' feud gave rise to the sportswear companies Adidas and Puma. In our previous video, we discussed the Adidas story and in this video, we'll hear Puma's side of the story after they split up with Adidas. In 1948, brothers Adolf Adi Dassler and Rudolf Rudi Dassler had a serious falling out and stopped talking to each other. Their company, Dassler Brothers Shoe Factory, was split into two new companies. Adolf Dassler started Adidas, a name from combining his nickname Adi with the first three letters of his last name. We go more in depth into Adidas history in the video linked below. While Rudolf Dassler set up his own store and named it Puma. These two new companies were both shoe stores and their establishment only led to the brothers hating each other more as they became serious competitors. What happened to them? The Second World War confronted the brothers' ideologies, and by Hitler's orders, their shoe factory became a workshop for spare parts for tanks and missile launchers. It was believed that Adi was not interested in joining the Nazi army while Rudolf, on the other hand, defended the Nazis. Rudolf wrote a letter requesting the closure of the factory so that he could carry a weapon. When the war ended, Adi was able to retain control of the company while Rudolf had to move to another part of their town to open a small factory. So how was Adi able to gain back full control of their company while Rudolf was not? Well, Adi was only named a Nazi follower by the Allies while Rudolf was denounced by his own brother as a Hitler sympathizer. Rudolf's devotion to the Nazis had heavier consequences than of Adi's. The salesmen from the Dazzler factory left with Rudolf while the designers stayed at the Adi factory. From this separation, two great brands were born. Puma was founded in 1948 and Adidas was established a year later in 1949. Rudolf registered his business, Ruda, in January 1948 and commencing operations on June 1948. Ruda was taken from the first two letters of his first and last name. The name was changed to Puma and was registered at the German Patent and Trademark Office in October 1948. The decision was made because Rudy wanted his products to embody the qualities of a Puma. What qualities exactly? Speed, strength, endurance, agility. These are the qualities that make the Puma brand recognizable and reliable for many athletes. While it was hard for Puma to start from the bottom once again, the company quickly began to rise to fame. What influenced this? By the late 1950s, the Puma runners and football boots were prevalent in the market. The company developed its second brand logo called the Form Strip. The Form Strip was a strip of leather on the side of the shoe that was made for added lateral support. It was used to help stabilize the construction of the sneakers. It also created brand recognition in the market. Aside from that, it was a great strategy to have some huge names in the sports world represent Puma's products. An example would be a Brazilian football star Pele. He adopted Puma products into his attire which was significant for the brand in reaching international stardom. Recruiting famous athletes to represent the brand on the world stage in front of millions was Puma's strategy from 1970 to 1990. But the brand didn't just have its eyes on sports. Eventually, they also became an integral part of many cultural movements, particularly within New York with the rise of hip-hop and streetwear. Puma launched the Super Atom in 1952 and it created a stir among shoes enthusiasts and football fans. What were these shoes? Rudolf collaborated with experts like Sepp Herberger to develop the world's first boots with screw-in studs. During the first international soccer match after World War II, several German players wore the Atom shoe. This enabled the brand to gain world acceptance. Until now, Puma has essentially been trying to sign every famous personality they can get their hands on. Nike takes a similar approach. Nike was founded in response to the dominance of Adidas and Puma. If you are curious about Nike's history, the link will be included in the description below. If you are wondering whether Adidas and Puma will merge, it's highly unlikely because even though Adi and Rudy are no longer alive, their feud continues within their families. They are still both strong competitors, even though Adidas has a larger market share than Puma. 
Which brand do you prefer between Adidas and Puma? Let us know in the comments below.